Good morning, ESM. I'm Avery. And I'm Mr. McSweeney. Today we are going to be celebrating Spartan Pride. However, first, let's take a look at our headline stories. Doug Waterbury, the notorious Oswego County landlord with a history of sexually exploiting his tenants, is in trouble again. Waterbury was arrested Monday, charged with violating court orders. The U.S. Justice Department filed a lawsuit that accused him of coercing tenants to have sex with him. On Monday, he was charged with two counts of second-degree criminal contempt after he was seen at two different properties in Oswego that he was ordered to avoid. The lawsuit alleged that he targeted struggling single mothers young women and students. DOJ lawyers and advocates from CNY Fair Housing spoke with 50 victims who said Waterbury coerced them into having sex by threatening them with homelessness. Hamilton is finally coming to Syracuse. Thousands of tickets were sold the first day of sales. Ham Hamilton tells the story of founding father Alexander Hamilton, an immigrant who became George Washington's best friend, the 2021 season was canceled by the coronavirus pandemic and Broadway lost two years of shows. President and C CEO of CNY Arts, Nicolino Polino, said in a statement, to have over 40,000 people in downtown Syracuse over a two-week period, it will provide an enormous economic activity for the community. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The cafeteria is hosting a special breakfast in honor of Spartan Pride Week. Please come down Friday morning, enjoy excellent breakfast pizza. And uh, thank you to Mrs. Uh, Montanero and her staff for this special event. Grease is the word here, ESM. The school musical Grease will have a performance today, Friday at 7 p.m. and at 2 on at 2 on at Saturday and 7 p.m. on Saturday. Tickets are available for pre-sale purchases for $10 and then 12 at the door. Hurry, you don't want to miss this. This and the seats are selling out fast. Yeah, I heard that a couple nights already sold out, and yep. uh, it's supposed to be an excellent show. It is. It's very so. good. The morning weight room will be closed on Friday, March 11th. So make sure you see Coach Eschbacher if you have any questions. Yoga, yoga oh. club will be today after school in the library. Wear comfortable clothes and bring a friend. Mats and other equipment will be provided. See Mrs. Fulner or Mrs. Welch with any questions. Namaste. Uh, so one way to help improve diversity is to have a diverse set of educators take a look at a teaching club or a talent. In introduce the students to the benefits of being a teacher while providing enough experience to support student aspirations to become uh, several educators. There are several benefits such as exploring education issues, hands-on experiences, and community service projects. In the next 10 years, New York State will be in need of um, 1,800,000 new teachers. If you're interested in learning more, you can come into the first Take a Look at Teaching Club meeting on Wednesday, March 16th, after school in the small cafeteria. Refreshments will be served. So diversity is about recognizing and, and celebrating differences. Um, so to help promote diversity and to help country in desperate need right now, Please wear blue, yellow, and orange and blue for our spirit day tomorrow. Blue and yellow are the colors of the Ukrainian flag. Several clubs have organized a supply drive for the war effort in Ukraine. And right now they need medicine and first aid supplies. Student Council and Key Club and YDL will be selling blue and yellow bracelets during the musical and then next week. So thank you for your support. Coming back, we have M&P Productions to help recognize Kindness Awards and Spartan Pride winners. As you can see behind me, there will be clear skies today. Today we'll have a high of 45 and a low of 25, and tomorrow we will have a high of 45 and a low of 30. And I'm Abby with your weather.
Hey ESM friends, it's Phil from MMP Presentations and Mr. Richmond is busy this week, AKA Uncle Richie. He's out working on the Grease production, so that means I have the honor of introducing and explaining this week's Kindness Awards and Spartan Pride Awards. So here we go. Kindness Awards this week go to Jessica Griffith, Hyacinth Lobatos, Laura Frateshi, and Daniel Owen. Congratulations and thank you for your awesome kindness in receiving the award. All right, up next is Spartan Pride winners. And of course, these are the students that embody the P-R-I-D-E of Spartan Pride. So here we go. First up, Tyler Pudney, Olivia Rabia, Hannah Decker, Luke Mancini, Morgan Palmer, Adele Stinziano, Creedy Badere and Kelvin Jones. Congratulations to our kindness and Spartan Pride winners this week. Sending love and patience and health to each and every one of you. Continue to be unstoppable and have a great, safe, beautiful weekend, friends. The MLB postponed opening day for the second time as well as removing two more series from the schedule. The season is suspended until April 14th. Yesterday, the Syracuse men's basketball team dominated Florida State in the first round of the ACC tournament, winning 96-57. to Cole Swider led the team in points with 28. Some unfortunate news from the game, however, Buddy Beheim was suspended for the seeming to have punched an FSU player. Buddy will be out for the game against number one ranked Duke today at 12. I'm Leah Rome with your sports. Please remember to bring in your donations for Ukraine tomorrow or when you come and support the musical Greece this weekend. So from Avery and I and everyone here at Spartan News, have a terrific Thursday.